In this tutorial, Randy will show how you can make me wink. Keep watching, and Randy will show you how. This is Randy. And Patrick! With more Crate Studio 3 tips. To make a wink, we are going to use the eye blinking of a 3D Crater character. So let's first investigate the character Blink. Click on Danny and drag him down to the timeline. The default action is idle, and we will keep that action. If you play that short clip, you will notice that Danny does not blink. The clip needs to be longer before Create Studio will insert an eye blink. So, I will lengthen the clip by mouse clicking on the square box at the end of the track and drag it to the right. Now when playing the clip, you see Danny blinks his eyes. Let's move the playhead back to find the start of the blink. By the way, I have learned that the blink can occur at different times. I suspect that it may be random. Just know that your results will be slightly different than what you see here. Advance the playhead one frame at a time by clicking on this double arrow icon above the timeline. The second frame closes the eye further, and the third frame has the eye closed completely. The fourth frame is where the eye starts to open, the fifth frame, the eye opens more, and finally, after six frames, the eye blink is complete. So a blink takes a duration of six frames, three for the eye to close and three for the eye to open. Create Studio has a convenient toggle on the 3D Creator characters that we are going to use to make the wink happen. When you click on the action name, a pop-up panel will appear. There is a toggle switch that allows you to turn off the eye blinking. In a couple of minutes, I will show you how that feature can be used to generate a wink. For this tutorial, I am only using the idle action, but there can be actions that have built-in eye closures that the blink toggle does not prevent. In the case of Danny, blowing a kiss or brushing teeth has the eyes closed briefly even when the blink is disabled. Just be careful as that may be true for other actions for the 3D creator character you are using. Alright, let's make Danny wink. Duplicate the Danny track by clicking on the duplicate icon above the timeline. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Command D or Control D on a PC. There is an interesting oddity that I will point out about the blink on the duplicated track. It may not be the same frame as the original track. For whatever reason, the blink can be at different times between the original and duplicate track. That is important to know if you are trying to sync the time of the wink to an audio track. I will have some tips on how to sync the wink with audio later. So let's review. At this point, we have two duplicate tracks of Danny. Everything about these two tracks is identical except for the timing of when Danny blinks his eyes. To make Danny wink his right eye, I will need to create a mask for that eye and apply the mask to the top track. To stay organized, rename the top track to right eye. Tip. Masking will be easier by zooming in on Danny, so I am going to use my mouse wheel to zoom in. Here is another tip. Watch the icons at the very top. When I press and hold the spacebar, Notice that the hand icon is highlighted. That means we can use the mouse to move the canvas. So let's put Danny's face in the middle. The object I am going to use as the mask is the circle shape. You can add the circle by clicking on the plus symbol above the canvas and then select circle. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Shift C. The circle is much too big, so shrink it by adjusting the scale to 15%. Reposition the circle so that it covers the eye and eyebrow. The duration of the circle doesn't matter, and to illustrate that, I will make it a short duration. Quickly scrub through to make sure you can't see any part of the right eye. We don't want any peeking of the eye. See what I did there? No peeking! Well, if it isn't interrupting Patrick. But he is correct and this looks good as I see no picking of the eye. Highlight both the right eye track and the circle track. Right mouse click and click on Mask Right Eye with Circle. 
At this point you really can't tell there is a mask, but if I right mouse click on the bottom track and select hide, you can see the mask. And by scrubbing the playhead, you can see that the mask covers the duration of the clip, even though the circle track was smaller than the right eye track. OK, I will bring back the bottom track by selecting show. Let's play that and see how it looks. Randy! I see a problem. Danny's left eye winked before his right eye did. That's right, Patrick. I did that on purpose to show what it looks like if I forget to disable the blinking on the bottom track. So click on the action name of the bottom track and on the pop-up disable eye blinking. There, now you can see Danny wink only his right eye. Well, alright, there was only one eye winking, but it went by really fast. Is there a way to make the wink last longer? Yes, there is a way, which is quite a bit more involved, and I will show how to do that later. But before I do that, I want to discuss how to sync the wink to the audio. It turns out that we can only control if the character blinks or not. We cannot control the timing of the blink. The solution is to lay the audio and video on the timeline, then manipulate the audio. Let's look at an example. I have Danny saying, I am going to wink right now, and have the wink occur during the middle of the word now. Open the text to speech panel and select a voice. Paste in the text you want Danny to say, then click on generate. By clicking on Import, Create Studio will place an audio file in our project. After dragging that onto the timeline, I can see that it is really short. Now I can move the entire track right to sync with the wink, but it would be better if the audio was more interesting. So I will delete the audio track and create another audio. But this time, add a two second pause between the words wink and right now. Below the text input box, Create Studio shows how to add a pause. So type in brace, pause in capital letters, equals to, close brace. Let's generate that and import the new audio. I see the audio is still a bit earlier than the wink, so I will drag the audio track right until the waveform for the word now occurs during the wink. The next step is to lip sync, so right mouse click on the audio track. You can see there are two tracks that the audio can be lip synced to. We don't want the track named Right Eye, so click on Sync with Danny. Let's play that and see how it looks. I'm going to wink. Right now. As you can see, you may have to be a bit creative when trying to sync the audio to the wink. All right. Earlier Patrick mentioned that the wink goes by really fast, and that is true. What we need to do is freeze the frame where Danny has his eye completely closed. But to freeze that frame means we need to cut the track. See what happens when I cut the Danny track at the point where his eye is closed? The blink animation is gone as the idle action kind of resets at the cut. The bottom line is there is no way to cut the track and keep the eye closed. So the solution is to bounce the project to a video and use the cut tool on the video clip. What do I mean when I say bounce? Well, you are going to publish your project as a video. Then in a new Create Studio project, you will import the video and continue editing what you just imported. To illustrate, let's create this scene where Danny's wink lasts for two tenths of a second. Here is the Create Studio 3 project, and the wink occurs at this time. Here is a very important tip when using this technique. Make sure there is no sound at the time of the wink. Freezing a frame that has audio will sound really bad. Use the audio waveform to ensure there isn't a sound when the wink occurs. Now it is time to bounce the project to a video. In this case, I don't know what background to use in the final product, so I will generate a video with a transparent background. 
MP4 videos don't have a transparent background, so you will need to choose either the WEBM or the MOV file type. WebM is much faster, so select that and toggle on Transparent. Enter the file name and click on Save. Next, create a new project. Open the Media folder. Click on Import Media. Select the file you just bounced and click on Open. After the video is imported, scrub the playhead looking for the wink. I have noticed that when scrubbing fast, the viewer may not be able to keep up, so you may have to scrub through rather slowly. OK. I found the frame where Danny's eye is completely closed. Click on the video track and right mouse click and select Take Snapshot. Create Studio will put the snapshot into the media folder. Click and drag the snapshot onto the canvas. You will notice that the snapshot is smaller than the original. That is because by default the snapshot is not the full size of the canvas. And you can see that by selecting the snapshot on the timeline. See that purple box? It is not lined up with the edges of the canvas. That can be corrected by clicking on either of the double arrow icons above the purple box. There. Now the snapshot is the same size as the original. Without moving the playhead, select the video track and click on Cut icon. Move the track after the cut to the right aways. Shrink the duration of the snapshot so that it fits in the space of the cut. For a wink that lasts two tenths of a second, the snapshot needs to be six frames. So use the double arrow icon above the timeline to advance the playhead one frame at a time. Do that six times and then drag the end of the snapshot to where the playhead is. I like the freeze frame to be on the same track as the video, so I will drag it down and then drag the clip after the cut so there are no gaps. As I scrub through that slowly, I see Danny's wink lasts longer than one frame. Now, at this point, I will find a background and drag it onto the timeline under the video track. Tip. If you want to resize and or reposition Danny, you should put the video clips and a snapshot into a group first. Highlight all the clips and use Command G to group them. Now the new scale or position of Danny will apply to the entire video. So that is how you make a 3D creator character wink for any duration you desire. Hey Randy, now that I can wink, maybe I should replace Patrick as your sidekick. Oh, no you don't. I'm still under contract. Hey, everyone. Have a good day and happy creating.